Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today's Dollar Tree haul is going to be a little different than how I typically share hauls on my channel. You guys are used to seeing me on camera, but I thought it might be fun to switch it up a bit and do kind of an aerial view or a close-up view of these Dollar Tree products and maybe give you guys some crafting ideas as well for them. So you'll have to let me know at the end of the video, give me some feedback and let me know if you like this style of haul or if you prefer me to be on camera or maybe a little bit of both. So for this Dollar Tree haul, I have a ton of crafting supplies for Christmas that I picked up. So let's get started. I think I'm gonna start off with some wood decor or wood crafting decor. I found these little gingerbread men. They're calling these DIY wood signs. And I think these came out last year, the same exact style. And I picked up two because I want to actually take off the bows off of one of them and put it up here and make like a little gingerbread couple. So I thought that would be really cute. These would be a great addition to a DIY wood sign. You can maybe put them at the end of like a long wood sign. So I picked up two of those and I also got one of these gingerbread houses. And I think this would look really cool as an addition to a wood sign, kind of like a pop-up or pop-out effect. And I believe they came out with these last year as well. And you can get maybe some puffy paint and then add icing or make it look like icing on here. And then maybe some chalk paint on this as well. So I picked up that and I have kind of like a gingerbread or sweets theme going on in my kitchen and my dining room. So I'm going to stick to that theme. Now this sign is not necessarily Christmas, but I, I'm going to be using it for a Christmas DIY. It is by Crafter Square and I didn't find this with the rest of the Christmas um, DIY stuff and decor. I found this in the actual Crafter Square section of my Dollar Tree. So this is a huge um, cut out wood sign. And I thought this would be cool if you maybe took one of the long wood signs that Dollar Tree usually puts out for holidays, paint over it, then layer this on top and paint this a different color. Maybe add a buffalo check ribbon or bow to the top. I think that would look really cool. Maybe with some greenery at the top and bottom. So that's kind of my idea for this large wooden um, piece. This circle wood blank was also from the crafter square section and I wish I would have picked up more of these because this um, is actually on my Pinterest board or some DIYs with these um, circular wood blanks are on my Pinterest board. Um, I have a ton of different ideas that I picked out from Pinterest because I want to make kind of like a welcome sign with these. There's a ton of different ways that you can decorate this. I've seen some where half of it is like wood stained and then the other half is chalk paint with white vinyl lettering or chalk paint that says welcome. It can say um, your last name and then you put like a really big beautiful bow on the top. So that's the idea um, that I think I'm gonna go with for the round wooden sign. So I picked up that and then Dollar Tree came out with these 3D craft kits this year. I didn't see these last year. And I went ahead and snagged all of them that I saw because it each kit comes with, it looks like a bunch of little individual pieces. Now I think it's meant to kind of create a scene, but you can use these pieces individually and add them to a wooden sign as kind of like a pop out detail. You could add these to maybe your gift wrapping to add a, a little detail to that with maybe a really cute um, burlap ribbon or something like that. But I'm gonna open up one of these to show you guys maybe how many pieces you get in here. Okay, so we have a set of trees. Then we have a snowman. And then we have this piece. So I'm pretty sure it's meant to kind of go like this and you create a little scene. But you don't have to do it that way. Again, you can use these pieces individually to add detail. But I think these are so cool. You get so many different little pieces in here and 
I like how they added a little glitter tree to all of them. So yeah, these little craft kits I think are going to sell out very quickly just because of the amount of materials, of wood cut out materials that you get for $1. So this is the snowman scene and then I found this little village scene with the presents and the candy canes and then this one has Santa in it. But I love these trees. I can't wait to use these trees in a DIY. So I picked up those. And Dollar Tree also has these wooden shapes out for Christmas. So I picked up quite a few. The little gingerbread men were my favorites. You get 14 of them in here. And again, you could add these to maybe your gift wrapping as a little added detail. You can make a garland of some sort out of these, maybe cut out some um, cardstock and then add paint these or maybe wood stain them and then glue them on to your garlands. I think that would be a really cute idea. And again, adding them to a wood sign. And they had a few different styles of the wooden trees, but I like this one the most. Something about it with the little holes in it just like screamed a vintage Christmas tree to me for some reason. But you get five trees in here and they also come with a little twine to make an ornament if that's what you want to do with them because they are color your own ornaments. And these I was really excited about and I should have picked up more because I actually wanna save these for some 4th of July decor. Um, I do want to end up making a wooden American flag, but of course I need more than 14 stars. But I think these are awesome. I need to pick up some more of those. And then I found these snowflakes and you get five in here and they're quite large. So I can't wait to craft with these. Um, and I think that was it for the, I guess, color your own or wood decor ornaments. All right, now let me show you guys some ornaments from the ornament section that I picked out for crafting or that I think are going to sell out um, very quickly this year at Dollar Tree, starting with these cute little plaid houses. I found them in red and green, and the little shingles on the roof are wood along with the base and the window, and then the back is a cardboard. And then you have some greenery on the side and the top which I think was a beautiful touch. I think these are great. Again, I think they're gonna sell out very quickly. I think they're very well made, definitely worth a dollar. And if you picked up a bunch of these, you could make the cutest little Christmas village and maybe paint over the plaid if you weren't into the plaid or do something. And then even use those little wooden trees that I showed you guys earlier and then kind of add them in the background. I think that would be a really cute idea. So I picked up two of those, as well as two of these little ice skates in this buffalo check in black and white and red and black. And I love the greenery that they added to them. I think they're beautiful. Again, I think these would be perfect detail to add to a wooden sign, kind of as um, some dimension or like a pop-up detail. I just think they're so cute. And you can also decorate a Christmas tree with these as well, but I'm going to be using these for crafting. So I picked up some of those and these ornaments, these wood ornaments I feel like are going to sell out very fast as well. I found them in three different colors with three different Christmas sayings on them. And as a crafter, you could easily paint over this, maybe take a Dollar Tree sanding sponge and get off the glitter, repaint over it, and write whatever you want on here, either with a chalk pen or if you have a vinyl cutting machine, you can add um, something that way. But I think these are gonna be really popular this year with um, the crafting community on Dollar for Dollar Tree because I just think they're so easy to um, change up and I think these are gonna go really fast. You could also flip them over and instead of painting over this you could flip them over and just paint um, this because it might take a couple of coats to cover like the red but I think these are great for a dollar. Again I think they're gonna go really fast and I definitely plan on transforming these somehow. These next ornaments I feel like are also going to be a very 
um, a sought after item or a very hot item that sells out quickly this year, these set of skis. I just think these are so good. You guys, they're all wood. Even the little sign that says ski lift is wood. And I just love the detail with the wreath in the middle. And this one actually has an upside down bow, but that's not a big deal. I can just take it off and re-glue it. They also had the this available in white as well. But I just went ahead and picked out the gray and the red. I think the gray is my favorite. But again, you guys, these would look awesome on top of a present or again added to a wood sign for some detail. You could also put this in a Christmas village. I think that would look really cute as well. So I picked up those and these letters ornaments are going to be perfect for DIYs. I was trying to spell joy and I couldn't find the, the O. Um, sometimes Dollar Tree doesn't come out with all of the letters. They just come out with like a few. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. I wish they came out with all the letters, but I couldn't find the O. So I thought I would try this. I found this ornament and it kind of has the same um, color plaid and pattern as the J and the Y, but these are wood with a fabric plaid on them with the greenery on top. I just think these are awesome for crafting. So I picked up those and in the crafters um, or decorate your own ornament section where I found all of the um, paint your own ornaments, I also found this um, letter J and I was also looking for O and Y to spell joy, but I couldn't find them. But I'm going to keep looking because again, I think the Dollar Tree like wooden letters are perfect for um, crafting. You can like recreate some high end um, decor from big stores with Dollar Tree items and make them look almost exactly the same. So I'm on the hunt for the O and the Y. So I picked up that and this little guy, this ski gnome, I feel like is going <laughs> is going to go sell out very fast this year as well. He is felt with some um, plush in him and then his little skis are wood and I just think he is adorable. And you could maybe hot glue him down to something. Again, maybe for your Christmas village decor. I just think he's adorable. And I know gnomes aren't everybody's thing, but if you're into the whole gnome trend, definitely put this on your wish list or be on the lookout. And I have a couple of other gnome things in this haul. So I picked up him and I found these mini Christmas trees. These are like a wire or bottle brush tree, a mini bottle brush tree. You get six of them in here. And these also came in, I believe, gold. But I went ahead and just picked up the green. I think these would look awesome in the back of a DIY truck. So Dollar Tree recently came out with um, the pieces that you would need to like make your own um, truck. They came out with like wood cutouts. And if you took two of those pieces, put them together, and then had um, something in the bed of the truck to hold these trees, I think that would look really cool. These would also look really cute in a clear ornament or a snow, a DIY snow globe. So be on the lookout for these. There's tons of different crafting things that you can do with those little trees. And this is a new item this year, this pine cone garland on a wire string. And this also came in gold and I think a sparkly silver, but I just got the sparkly white. And so yeah, picked up that. This is great for crafting as well. And I think the last ornaments I picked up are these large ornaments. So last year Dollar Tree came out with the clear ornaments. So these are the same size. So this is last year's ornament. And then this year they came out with like this milky kind of white color because I think I'm pretty sure Dollar Tree watches crafting DIYs with their products. 
because a ton of crafters were taking the clear ornaments and putting like chalk paint or acrylic paint inside of the ornaments and then shaking them to coat the inside to make it look like this. So it's funny that they came out with these this year. Um, so I just thought that was pretty cool. These are fun to decal if you have a vinyl cutting machine. You can put customize it with someone's name on here or maybe the the different reindeer names would be really cute as well. Maybe with some red or black vinyl, you could add some greenery to the top. And then with the clear ones, you can do a ton of different things. You can, again, add like these little trees in the middle, maybe put some of the Dollar Tree um, fake snow in there and kind of create a snow scene by just kind of gluing these down somehow to the bottom. It would be kind of tricky to to get the glue down and press it down, but it could be done. Um, I've also seen some really cute ideas. If um, you know someone that's had a baby recently, you could make baby's first ornament or baby's first Christmas and put like their little hospital souvenirs in here. So like their little um, hat or their little hospital bracelet would be really cute in there and give it to someone as a gift. Maybe if you're going to a baby shower um, or something, that would be a really cute um, DIY idea for those. So I did pick up several of these um, white ornaments this year. So that was it for the ornaments. Now let me show you guys some more gnome things that I found. So I found all of these cute um, wooden gnomes. So I found these two that would look awesome in the center of a wreath. Or maybe if you got multiples, you can somehow put them together in like a trio of three and then make some sort of yard decor, maybe like this. I think that would be really cute. And then this one, I also found this blue one. So these two are on stakes. It's kind of hard to get it in frame. So I found these that were meant to be like yard decor or yard stakes, but you could easily pop them off and DIY with them. But I just thought these were so cute. I love their little mustache. I think these are adorable. And then I love the hats on these two. So I found those and there's probably more to this. These are just the ones that I found. One new ornament that I forgot to show you guys earlier was this church ornament. It's very sparkly and it also lights up in this, I guess, soft white color. And I love the fact that Dollar Tree just stuck to using a soft white in this. Normally Dollar Tree does like the color changing um, effect on a lot of their ornaments. And sometimes I don't want like green and red in the things that light up. I just want like one color. So I like the fact that they just chose to do the soft white in here and it doesn't flicker or anything. It just stays on. I think this is going to be an excellent crafting item. So I picked up two of those. I got three of the Christmas trees that come out every year. These are great for crafting, great to pick up every year because you don't have to just use them as a Christmas tree. You could use these as a wreath. You could make like a swag wreath, I think they're called, with these. You could just make a ton of different things with these little Christmas trees. Don't think that you're just limited to using them as a mini Christmas tree because usually if you're going to do that, you want at least two because these are very sparse. So if you're going to use these to make a mini Christmas tree, pick up at least two of them and use some wire and kind of string them together. That way you will have a more full looking mini Christmas tree. So I did pick up three of those and I picked up two picks of these red berries. These also came in gold and I just like using these to add little details again um, to wood signs or maybe to like the top tops of ornaments and things like that. And so yeah, picked up those. And I found these awesome plaid or buffalo check bows this year. These weren't in the um, Christmas section. These were actually in the party section. 
but when I saw them, they immediately screamed Christmas to me. And so I picked up all of the color options that I saw. I think this one's going to sell out very quickly and the red as well because they just look, I guess, the most Christmas. But you guys, these are huge bows. These are humongous. So I just love Dollar Tree's party section. I don't go anywhere else for um, my party supplies or bags or bows or anything like that because Dollar Tree has it all for a dollar. So picked up those and I picked up a few bottle brushes from Dollar Tree. I think I picked up four. Four bottle brushes from Dollar Tree this year. And I know there's a lot more out. I just haven't seen them yet at my local Dollar Trees, but I did find these with the blue and white and then the pink and white. And I just think they're so beautiful. And I love the simple wooden base to these. These are gonna look awesome in a Christmas village or a tiered tray. And I can't wait to get my hands on some of the other bottle brush trees that Dollar Tree has come out with this year. I know there's a big flocked one um, that looks amazing. I can't wait to find that. I hope I find that. So I picked up some bottle brush trees. All right, so we're nearing the end of this haul and I wanted to show you guys um, a DIY that I finally got around to doing. This DIY has been out for years. Um, but the lollipop or pool noodle candy DIY. Um, I have to fix this one a little bit. But I picked up several white and red pool noodles from Dollar Tree. Now normally Dollar Tree doesn't do white pool noodles. And the fact that they're still selling pool noodles this late in the year um, is amazing because so many people like to use these for crafting and making um, these little peppermint candies for Christmas because things of this size for decor like at Hobby Lobby or Michael's are very expensive and the fact that you can make your own for just a few dollars with Dollar Tree supplies is amazing. So for the DIY you're just going to need obviously a pool noodle and then some duct tape. So Dollar Tree also sells duct tape. I also got red pool noodles and then I'm going to use the white on the red ones. So you're just gonna need some duct tape, a pool noodle, and then you just apply the tape at a diagonal angle all the way down. And then you just roll it like this with some hot glue. Now just be patient with the hot glue. You're gonna have to sit there for a minute each time you fold it with hot glue because it takes some time for that hot glue to bond. And make sure you use the Gorilla Glue hot glue, it's the best. Um, so you're gonna do that. And then once you have your pool noodle all curled up, you're just going to take one of these basket bags. These come two to a pack and you can find them in the party section at Dollar Tree. And you're just gonna put it around your little pool noodle. And then you're just gonna take some cute Dollar Tree ribbon and then add it, tie off the ends and you have a cute little peppermint. You could decorate like a Christmas tree with this if you're doing like a candy or peppermint tree. You know, the big open bare spaces of a tree, this would be a good filler for that. Or of course, you could take a PVC pipe um, and glue it to the back or somehow attach it and then make like a giant lollipop and do, do it this way for front yard decor. So these are just awesome DIYs to make and only for a few dollars you can make something that would probably cost upward of $15, $15 at again Hobby Lobby or Michaels or some um, craft store like that. And the very last items of this haul are not actually Christmas items, but I'm gonna use some of the images from these calendars for Christmas DIYs. So Dollar Tree just put out their 2022 calendars. So I picked up a few. I found this farmhouse calendar, this farmer's market calendar, and then um, this floral and quote calendar. And I'll just go, a go through a few of the images with you guys. So here is the December image, and you could easily just tear this out 
and Mod Podge it onto a wood sign. You could even take the Dollar Tree Tumbling Tower blocks, maybe put this on, Mod Podge it onto a piece of thick cardboard, and then take the little Dollar Tree Tumbling Towers and make a custom frame around it. Add some greenery to it. I think it'd be really beautiful. And there's just a ton of images that you could use not only for Christmas, but for other holidays and seasons. So like this one would be perfect for 4th of July. So I love these calendars. I did um, a DIY with a honeybee image from one of these calendars and one of my, I think, summer DIY. So that was the farmhouse calendar. This one I think is my favorite, this farmer's market calendar. And so this would be perfect for Halloween. I love this image, but let me show you guys December. So here is December's image. And then you have November. And you don't have to use these for making decor either. You could also use these in scrapbooking or paper crafting journals. You can make a journal cover out of these. These are just really, really good images. And you get 12 of them for a dollar. So if you see these calendars and you like crafting, pick these up because they're, they're excellent. And then this one just has quotes in it. So here is December, which is beautiful. This would look beautiful in a frame. If you could find and maybe cut this down, well, maybe not cut this one down just because of, um, the leaves, but if you could somehow make a custom frame for this or find a frame for this, this is beautiful, just like it is in a frame. And here we have November, and so yeah, excellent pickups for crafting. All right, guys, that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. I hope I gave you guys some ideas of different crafts and things that you can do with these Christmas crafting supplies from Dollar Tree. Also, don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below if you like this style of haul or if you prefer me to be on camera or maybe a little bit of both. I really appreciate your guys' feedback. So... Until my next video, I hope you guys have an amazing day and happy crafting.